doing so i am back with another video obvi um and today i wanted to do a video kind of on like test taking tips um i know you know nursing school just started school just started in general um so i know that that first test is always kind of nerve-wracking especially in nursing school because you've never had a test like that before in your life and they ask you so many um different types of questions like worded differently so I wanted to give you guys some tips that I kind of did that kind of helped me when I took my first test and when I take my test now um for my classes I'm not really an anxious person when I take tests like you know I know some people get anxious and they get like anxiety and stuff like that I'm not really like that sometimes I am um but I'll let you know what I do you know kind of to calm those nerves and stuff like that I don't want this to be a super long video so let's jump into it so um the first tip I have for you when you're about to take this test the next day okay the first tip that i have and it's very important you need to get a good night's rest i know this sounds so basic and all these tips are kind of basic but they're like you know people don't really think about them my first tip is to get a good night sleep at least eight hours go to bed early you know i know some people can't sleep before tests because their mind is running they're anxious they don't know what's gonna be on it Did they study enough all that type of stuff so just make sure that you try and get a good night's sleep you know relax at first take a nice warm bath drink a cup of vino <laughs> read a book whatever to kind of get your mind in a calm state put some um aromatherapy on whatever it is that you do and try and relax while you're in the bed um if you can't really sleep like that maybe you could like take like a melatonin i've taken a melatonin before um and it really helps me sleep calmly and soothingly <laughs> i don't wake up during the night with that one i don't i've only taken it once um but what the first time that i took it it was really good and i had a really good night's sleep so you know if you can't really sleep take it it's kind of you know it's natural so you know whatever but if you can relax before you go to bed get a good eight hours of sleep before that test it is very 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 important number two number two number two wake up early and get a good breakfast in you okay they tell you this like when you were elementary school make sure you go to sleep early and get a good breakfast in you before you take a test before you take the fcat over here in florida that's what you need to do Wake up early, make yourself a good breakfast. Have some oatmeal, have a cup of tea. If you like tea, green tea, um, a cup of OJ. Have a peanut butter and jelly because I heard that helps your brain before you take a test. I don't know. Have some eggs, have some fruit, have some fruit, have some strawberries, some blueberries, some bananas. Eat a good breakfast before you go to school. It's very important because you don't want to be in the middle of that test and your stomach start growling and you like, damn it what am i gonna eat after this i'm failing i'm hungry no we don't want to do that so make sure you get a good breakfast before you take that test especially if it's in the morning if it's in the afternoon eat a good lunch i don't care make sure your stomach is good that you're full that way that you're focused on nothing but the test okay eat a good breakfast all right test number three if your class is in the morning make sure you get there early Okay, make sure you get there with time so that you can get your seat and review a little bit. I always do that. I always get there at least 30 minutes early so I can sit there, get a good seat in front of my computer and review a little bit. I don't cram stuff in. I just review what I have on my study guide or what I've written down or whatever. But just make sure that you get there early. That way 
you know, I know in my school, um, sometimes the seats get filled in the computer lab and people have to be sitting here waiting around for another room to open. So just make sure that you get there early. That way you get a good seat and that way you can sit down and have some time to review before it. Test, I mean, tip number four. Yeah. Tip number four, do not cram the night before the test. Okay. Don't cram the night before the test. You should have been studying weeks in advance, okay? <laughs> don't be cramming before that test because your brain is going to go on overload. Like, for real, for real. So don't do it. That's a big no-no. Don't cram. Make sure you study with time, okay? Make sure you're studying a week in advance, two weeks in advance. I usually study a week in advance. I do not cram the night before because you will feel overloaded and you won't be able to sleep. You won't be able to eat the next morning because you're going to feel anxious and crazy and wondering if, oh my God, did I study enough? <laughs> oh God, no. We don't want to do that, guys. We got to be healthy. Keep our minds healthy as much as possible. So make sure you do not cram the night before. Make sure you're studying with time. Study a week in advance, two weeks in advance, however much you feel that you need to study to understand the material. Okay, don't cram the night before. You can't do that in nursing school. You can't. This ain't English comp. No, don't do it. <laughs> All right, tip number five. Numero cinco, numero cinco. Um, the day of the test, just pray. I mean, that's all that I can say. Pray. I usually do that. Um, if you believe in God, obviously. Just let it all go and give it to him and pray. He will see you through it. I mean, I can only hope that you studied and that you did what you were supposed to do before this test. And then the rest, just <sighs> calm down, push all the nerves down, you know, push the anxiety down, do whatever you can it is to relax and just give it to God for real because there's nothing you can do at that point. It's either you studied and you know it or you didn't and you don't know. If you don't know it by the day of the test, then you don't know it. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. So just relax and leave it to God or whoever it is that you believe in for sure. Tip number six. During the test, make sure that you read the questions slowly. Nursing question, nursing exam questions are very different than any other test. Obviously, I'm sure you guys know this. Um, and the questions are worded differently. So make sure that you read the question carefully. Okay, make sure you read it carefully. If you have to read it two times over, read it two times over, three times over, whatever. As long as you understand what you're reading, make sure you read it carefully. If it is timed, obviously... Usually my tests are like an hour and 15 minutes, um, but I get done in like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever. But read it over. I have to do that sometimes because I'm like, wait, what? That don't make no type of sense. Wait, hold on. Okay. And then I read it a couple times. I try to, you know, grasp what it's asking me and then I'll read the answers and select the best answer. Obviously, if you don't know the answer, then you don't know it. But try and select the best possible answer that you think it could be. Okay, but make sure you just read them over just so that you understand it. And the seventh tip, take your time if you can. <laughs> I don't know if your tests are timed. Mine usually are timed. I don't take the whole amount of time like I said. But if you can, just take your time. Relax. Take a deep breath and just take your time. Read it. Read the answers. If you, if you can go back, make sure you go back and review it. Usually on my test, they're on the computer. I can't go back and review. But if you can, just go back and review Make sure that you got the answers that you think are correct or that you process of elimination thought was correct or whatever. But take your time and go slow. Don't rush. Don't rush. Because when you rush, that's when you mess up and you don't want to do that. Okay? <laughs> All right, guys. So basically, these are kind of the tips that kind of help me before I take a test. Let's do a quick review. Okay? Get a good night's sleep, at least eight hours. Try and relax. Don't be thinking about it in the bed, tossing and turning. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Yeah, I know. We're going to all be nervous. We're all, we were all nervous. But try and relax. Take a melatonin. Drink some hot tea. Drink some warm milk. Whatever you do, but get a good night's sleep. Wake up in the morning. Eat a good breakfast. Eat a good breakfast. This is very important. You don't want to be starving in the middle of the test and it's super quiet and everybody hears your grumbling stomach and you're like, oh my God, when am I about to eat for lunch? I'm starving and I can't think of what I'm reading no we don't want that eat a good breakfast I don't remember the other tips that I said um <laughs> um don't cram 
do not cram the night before you can't do that in nursing school do not procrastinate make sure you study a week or two in advance okay do not cram the night before get there early get a good seat and do a little bit of review before the test starts okay don't get there five minutes before the test starts and then there's no more seats and you're wondering what the hell you're about to do don't do that pray leave it to god don't try and try 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 i know it's hard for some people but try not to get anxious you know try not to let it overwhelm you you'll be okay i promise if you studied you'll be okay okay and if you're if you don't do well that's okay too like that's okay you're not always gonna get ugh, i keep stretching my freaking nose if you don't get it the first time it's a learning experience you'll do better the next time but try to calm yourself down leave it to god put faith in him and he will guide you through i promise if you don't know it by now then you won't know it plain and simple all right all right all right i want all of us to succeed i hope all of you guys who are starting nursing school you know have a good good great experience in your first test i hope everything goes well if you watch this video i hope it kind of helped you a little bit um nursing exams are different they're difficult um but as long as you study with a good amount of time and study what you think is important, you'll be okay. I promise. I want us all to succeed as I've always said and we will. We'll be nurses. Don't worry about it. We all gonna be RNs soon enough, honey. Anyways, one more tip before your test. Make sure that you know your learning style and how you learn this is very 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 important it's going to help you through your whole nursing school career education whatever make sure you know your learning style there's lots of things on google you just type in what is my learning style and lots of things will pop up and you know you click on one of them and they'll ask you different questions and it'll spit out what your learning style is whether you're a visual learner a, you know an auditory learner kinesthetic whatever and they give you tips on how to learn that way as well so make sure that you do look that up you know before you start studying and stuff so that you know i hope this video helped you guys i really really do i hope you guys have a great semester in nursing school i want us all to succeed to pass to brns and we will be there remember just take a deep breath and take it day by day and keep pushing we'll get there i love you guys bunches on bunches on bunches i just wish i could pinch all your little cheeks <laughs> To my OG subscribers, thank you so much for riding with me as per usual. To my new subbies, thank you so much for subscribing to me. Welcome to the fam. Welcome to the craziness. Um, and if you are watching this video and you are not subscribed to my channel and you kind of sort of liked it and you kind of sort of maybe a teeny weeny little bit like me too, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Join the fun. And I will talk to you guys later. Besitos. Mm. <laughs> Bye, guys.